Alright guys, I'm starting a new segment, um, episode, whatever you want to call it, on starting to do reviews. So if you could, just watch this thing all the way through, tell me what you think about it, tell me some, uh, some comments, just something how I can improve it maybe, and um, I'll try to keep that in mind. So for my first review, I'm going to do the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver 420 size. Uh, I'm just going to tell you right now, this is one of my favorite baits. It's one of, it's in my top three for my favorites. I've tried the Strike King Rodent, Yum Wooly Bug, and the Net Bait, um, Bee Bug, and by far Reaction Innovations is the best. So um, I caught some bass recently on these baits. So uh show you the footage of that, and then after that I'll give you the rundown on these baits. Let's get this probably, I don't know how big, probably... 12, 13 inches. The mouth is pretty big on this guy. He's got a big head and a small body. Got him on the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. It's an awesome bait, guys. Alright, guys, it's got this nice. Alright, guys, down here at the river with my uh, new rod and reel that I just dropped in the water. But, uh, got this nice smallmouth bass. They're all really fast. Wisconsin River, nice and overcast, kind of windy. And uh, he ate the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver right up. So, yeah, they're, they're shaped like footballs. Nice. They're just eating up on all the prongs. There he goes. Try, uh, try to catch more on the beaver. So, get back to it. All right, guys, you just seen the footage. Uh, those are some recent bass that I caught. Um, they're, they're a little small. So, uh, that's not all the bass that you catch on these. But what I have found out that if you guys are getting a lot of short strikes where you're fishing a, a worm or something and you can feel the bass hitting it, but when you set the hook there's nothing there, then I will always switch to a beaver. I don't know what it is about this beaver. It's got so much salt in it. Um, but pretty much you get a strike on this, you set the hook, you pretty much always get them. I don't know what it is about this, if it has just tons of salt or or what, but it's, it's an awesome bait. You always... You always will hook the fish when you're using this. Um, so this is the color that I would use on a lighter day, and this is the color I would use on a darker day. This is hematoma, and this is mossy mud. Um, this is a really underestimated color. It's a really awesome color, actually. Um, so uh, let's let's just get to the the lowdown here. So. Um, what I do is I rate it in three or in four categories: price, durability, versatility, and performance. Um, price is pretty much just how much it costs, um, individual like the individual baits. So uh, Tackle Warehouse has the cheapest price. I check Cabela's, Bass Pro, and let's see what else: Bass Pro and Gander Mountain. Um, Tackle Warehouse has the best price. It's comes down to 47 cents a bait, so it's pretty good. The durability, um, usually you can catch four fish on a bait, so I rated it four out of five. Uh, most of the time you can catch five or six, but uh, you you almost always catch more than four. Versatility, um, what I do is uh, you can fish it on a Texas rig, you can fish it on a on a jig trailer, and you can fish it on a shaky head. So pretty it's a pretty awesome versatility bait and uh, for performance I always catch fish when I'm using this bait no matter what so I rated it a five out of five and overall took all these scores averaged them you get a 3.5 out of five so it's a pretty awesome bait actually and um, one tip for you guys when you're using this bait is always split the tails they come um, together just so that they don't get bent up in the packaging. So uh, tell me what you guys uh, liked and did not like about this review. Thanks.